I have a problem. You're addicted to eating pickles? No, people on the internet are calling me names. How's it going guys, you guys and me pals? I'm Alice from Modern One and your favorite Kiwi trans girl, and to be honest, I'm a little bit confused. Something has been happening lately, for a while actually. It's a bit of a trend, it's a bit of a fad. Completely false of course, just like Finland. For some unfathomable reason, people all across my comment section, my live stream chat, and my Discord server have been calling me a bottom. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds derogatory. Join me as we take a deep dive into this psychological phenomenon and try to figure out why this is happening, how it started, and what it means. And later on, we're even going to confront one of these people in person. My investigation started by looking at the effects. This is precisely what I mean. Look at all of these comments. Exhibit A. Alice, I'm not a bottom. Alice makes bottom noises. Exhibit B. Everyone, you're a bottom. Alice flustered no assorted bottom noises. Exhibit C. Exhibit D. As I aptly commented a year ago, this comment is lies, fake, and gay. Exhibit E. Exhibit F. Exhibit G. Exhibit H. I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. There are quite literally thousands of them. It is mind boggling. So what does it mean? Well, let's take a look. I'm going to consult the Oxford English Dictionary. The lowest part of a material thing, the surface of an object on which it stands or rests, the underside, the base. English is dead bottom. Someone who is on the bottom in sexual intercourse or Harry Styles. Bottom? You. Now that's just rude. So, I understand then that people are accusing me of being submissive during sexual relations. That is receiving rather than giving. But why? To understand, I decided that I had to put myself in their shoes. Live their life. Experience their problems so that I can think like they do. So, what do my viewers do? Pickle. <laughs> You're so funny. You're just the funniest person ever. <laughs> we shouldn't. Sounds about right, I thought. I was on the right track. I need to experience what they do. Do what they do. So I need to find someone on the internet who I think is submissive and leave a comment for them. It's pretty scary to understand by design and brain to understand that a nation requires a border. You can't sit and believe you have a nation without a border. It's not a nation. Anymore. It's not a nation anymore. So these people must be doing it by design. You must then you have to and I, I see these little hints in the media, you see things and I see because of the undocumented voters. And I sit and think, are these people really <laughs> What a fing loser. At this point I'm getting very confused. Even though Andrew Tate is definitely a bottom, that didn't really help me. I need to figure out why my viewers had connected me to submissiveness. And so I decided to do something that would change everything. I had to go back through the archives. And this is when the investigation started to get interesting. We need to weigh up both sides of this equation, so perhaps it's time to draw a chart. Let's take a dive back through all of my videos and see where people started to think that I was submissive. It all started with the first video on my channel, NZ Trans Girl Answers the Internet's Questions, with this clip where I was talking about what I looked for in dating. Confidence, humor, style, all very attractive. Bonus points if they know how to do rope work. Now in the interest of fairness, I understand how that looks. But let's look at the other side of the equation. The very next video on my channel is me making fun of horny men, and that is dominant. The next questionable video on the list is my original Roast Me video. Degradation kink. Then, the one that really got people talking. My original makeup tutorial, which I did in handcuffs. 
Now, of course, it's very easy to look at that and say, oh no, she's in bondage. That means she must be submissive. But I counter you, despite having my hands cuffed, I was still able to do my makeup flawlessly, and I think that is a dominant trait. DM video after DM video. How many have we got? One, two, three, eleven. I'm gonna award half points for each of those. A brief history of New Zealand crime. Handcuffs in the thumbnail. The Council of Alice's has spoken. Multiple personality disorder. That's submissive. Trans girl reacts to egg IRL. There's a section where I want a sexy lumberjack woman to do me next, so I'll take that one on the chin. Getting roasted again while wearing cat ears. But to be honest, I cared so little in that one that I'm actually not gonna mark that either way. Friend unboxing involves me buying a human being off of the internet. Human trafficking, very dominant. Trans girl reacts to illicit substances. Addiction is very submissive. How a delusional transphobe helped me go viral. I capitalized on that situation like a mother That's dominant. I bought alcohol in a maid outfit. Bottom surgery. My third roasting video contained a somewhat controversial segment. You made me wear a cowkini. Lie detector test, but I'm wearing a shock collar. Cooking with cat mittens. Again, I'll say it's easy to look at that and say that's bondage, but I completed the task regardless, and I think that makes me dominant. Just shows that nothing can really effectively restrain me. Trans girl turns her chases into femboys. I can hardly imagine anything that could possibly be more dominant, actually. Click this video to become a girl. Contained a segment where I performed a satanic ritual. Hot people ranked. I did. I did talk at length about who I wanted to... So as you can see from this, we are all together pretty even. We've got 12 points to sub, 14 to dom, and to be honest, that's kind of within margin of error. Neither submissive nor dominant are 100% more powerful. What does this mean? Does it mean that perhaps I'm somewhere in between? Who knows? What if I'm dominant? What if I really am submissive? What if I'm really just playing a character and all of these little pieces of evidence are just me trying to entertain you and don't truly mean anything? No, that wasn't it. No one's ever lied on the internet before, that's absurd. At this point, I'm freaking out. I'm not getting any further. I need to know, why is this happening? I seriously could not fathom why you were so adamant that I am a bottom. It was actually starting to get under my skin. How could you possibly be so sure when I'm the one out here being Alice? There was only one course of action. It's because you live in New Zealand, which is on the bottom of the earth. Have you seen my map? I have never been to this channel before the ping, but I am just going to point to the vibes. Only a bottom would attempt to deny being a bottom so frequently. Do you expect someone falsely accused of murder to not defend themselves? I mean, I guess it just takes one to know one. I don't know, you give off bottom who won't admit she like being called a good girl but has a wagging tail whenever someone does energy. Well, I'm a cat girl, so wagging tail, not a good thing. Well, it would appear that my Discord is nothing more than a pool of brain death. Perhaps it's time to make a post on my YouTube community page. Here's one I prepared earlier. Attention queer army. Word on the street is that I am somehow submissive. This is false. I am conducting an investigation into this matter to determine how the rumor started. I require your input. You must get to the bottom of who is at the top of this conspiracy. You did a video with the shock collar. Nothing else needs to be said. You see, that's complete conjecture because I made that decision myself. That was my call. And if you'll remember, in that video, it was proven that I was not a bottom. I'd argue you being tied up not that long ago isn't helping your case. When was I tied up? I don't recall this. Because YouTube is stiffing all content creators. 10 out of 10 comment, you just won. 
The Oxford English Dictionary defines the word bottom as to continue reading, please sign in below or purchase a subscription. Actually, no, this was what the Oxford English Dictionary thought it was. Just because the everything about you. None of these comments have any actual substance. I mean, you dressed up as a cow and ate grass. This is all just snark. None of it is actually meaningful. None of it actually tells me anything. None of you are able to give me a conclusive answer to what makes you think this. So far in my investigation then, I had gleaned the following. The effects of the phenomena are witnessed in my comments section. We can see, as soon as it started, lots of people were commenting all about how I'm a bottom. But that was not really that helpful, so I needed to figure out what it actually meant. The dictionary says the lowest point or part of something, but I think you and I both know that that's not what they were talking about. So we looked on the Urban Dictionary instead, which said Harry Styles is a bottom, but that doesn't check because I would not f him. Now, the next bottom is you. But we needed to find the connection between the effects and the meaning. Which took us to psychology. We tried to emulate the life of the average trans girl commenter, which led us to girls kissing. And pickles. But most importantly, the one thing that really dominated the trans girl commenter psychology is scissoring. But that really wasn't enough. A lot of the commenters were saying that I just had the vibes of a bottom. But that doesn't, we, we need, that doesn't, that doesn't check. So I started to look into the cause and try and figure out where exactly it all went wrong. And that led me to several videos that I made. Now the first two on the list were makeups, makeup tutorials where I was wearing handcuffs. And a lot of people pointed at these and said that I was a bottom, but that's ridiculous because I, despite being in bondage, I did actually finish them. So they can come off the list. Next up we have human trafficking, which is definitely dominant and obviously making fun of horny people on the internet, which is even more dominant. Next up we had I bought alcohol in a maid outfit and I will, I will give you that one. Me voluntarily getting roasted on the internet twice. Yeah, but all in all, after all of these are said and done, we did end up with a massive tangle of information, but we were no closer to the truth because the truth was all of these were pretty even. It meant nothing and yet, as the days passed by, the idea started to leer at me. Weasel its way in. I knew who I was. I thought I knew what I wanted. Doubt started to creep in over these ever-spiraling questions. The curiosity got deeper and deeper as I tried to understand. The truth is that I like being in control. I am powerful. It is my hobby specifically to wield my power over you and I will do as I please. Fellow dominance. I too like f***ing women. And men. And those in between. From on top. This is the truth, and I'm tired of hearing your stupidity. I was so sure of it. If only I could provide something that was conclusive proof. If only there was some way I could show you. There was really only one option remaining. I had to catch one of the naysayers in the act. And force them to admit that they were wrong. This is 25-year-old Chloe Nysadrak. She's a serial commenter on my channel. Right now, she thinks she's on her way to meet a fellow bully commenter to discuss how she thinks I'm a bottom. What she doesn't know is that she was actually never talking to another commenter. Instead, she was talking to me. And the house that she's about to enter is rigged up with 13 hidden cameras in a secret sting operation. Ayo, hey, what's good? I got some fire jokes If your jokes are so fire, then why is this house not burning? Who are you? Why don't you do me a favor and sit right over there on the other side of that bar? What exactly did you plan on doing here today? I was just meeting a friend. And just what were you planning to do with said friend today? Nothing, we were just gonna chill and talk about video games. So you weren't coming here to discuss any potentially nefarious conspiracy theories about someone on the internet? No. Do you know how often I hear that? You seem kind of new at this, so I'm going to say probably not very often. Now you see, the problem with that is that I actually have your comment history. Ah, uh, crap. Under a video of me wearing a cow cuny. The sheep goes bar, the pig goes oink, and the cow goes, guys, seriously, I swear I'm not a bottom. Okay, it's not what it sounds like. But you see how this looks. Here's another one. 
under a video where I determine which of my legs is the best. Both of Alice's legs are equally useful as neither leg can be dominant. Okay, you got it, that's kind of funny though. And that makes it appropriate to send to a dominant woman on the internet. You aren't though. And what proof do you have to back up that claim? You literally ate grass. There's something you need to know. I'm Alice Kilgore from Wonder Woman TV, and we're doing an investigation onto online computer conspiracy theorists. Oh my god. Now, if you don't have anything to say, then you're free to walk right back on out that door. This is my house. Not anymore. Okay, fine. You want proof? I'll give you proof. How about that time you'd make up and ha- And all of that leads me to now. There was just no proof. Only a haze of conjecture and gut feelings from terminally online trans women. I was faced with more frustration than answers. I thought I knew who I was, but as this investigation carried out, I started to blur the lines between hearsay and reality. I wasn't sure anymore. All of this certainty about who I am, gazed upon by thousands of people on the internet. The pressure and negative reinforcement of hundreds and hundreds of comments adamant that I am submissive. Perhaps it's true what they say. Perhaps you can manifest reality. Perhaps, woven in between the false statements in your comments, there has been a niggling poison of doubt. Perhaps I am submissive. Perhaps I'm not. Either way, my certainty has been shattered. There is no longer such thing as 100% sure. All my confidence has given way to murky darkness, and in the empty chasm left behind by my assertions is now a huge, looming question. It's terrifying, dark, and cold. Who am I?